What's up everyone? Welcome to Aero TV, the number one place for building success, independence, and happiness in that legal career of yours. Now, have you ever been in front of your computer and you have done this fabulous email and worded it exactly how you wanted to and you've read it over and over and over again and you click the send button and crap, I forgot to attach something. Or I don't know about you, but sometimes I do my best proofreading after I click the send button. So if that has ever happened to you, then I've got a quick fix for you. I have got an Outlook quick tip and it is a change in your settings that not a whole lot of people know about. But I wanna give you a grace period when it comes to sending out that email and we can do it for up to 10 seconds. So if this is something that you're excited about, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and clicking that bell notification to receive a notification of each time I put a video on here. And by the way, if you haven't already, consider signing up for the Microsoft 365 eCourse. There's only five weeks left to enroll in that eCourse. Otherwise, if you need any other Microsoft 365 help, feel free to click in any of the links in the description box below and let me know what I can do to help out. So without any further ado, let's dive into things today. So before we get started, it should be noted that in order to use this feature, you need to have installed Outlook 2019 or be using the Microsoft 365 Outlook. If you are using Outlook 2016, Outlook 2013, then you are behind the times and it's time to upgrade to Outlook 2019 to use awesome features that Microsoft has brought into this platform. So what you want to do here is you want to head up here to this gear. So we're just going to click this and we're going to scroll down all the way to view all Outlook settings. So this is going to open up an entirely new tab that gives you all of those options for your settings. And what we're going to do is focus on compose and reply. So once we click compose and reply, we're going to scroll down until we see undo send. So this undo send is probably at zero for you right now. And we want to crank that puppy all the way up to 10 seconds. And by doing this, we're going to give ourselves a 10 second delay when we're sending out those emails. So when we need to click undo, we have time to do that. There are a lot of other settings in here for you to explore in Outlook 2019 and Microsoft 365 Outlook. So if you do not have those versions, you definitely wanna upgrade because there are so many bells and whistles that you can choose to bring into your environment should you need them. It's really created a lot of efficiency in my workflow processes. So let's take a look at what it looks like when you need to send an email and oh crap, you forgot to attach something or say something or correct something. So I'm just going to send an email quickly to myself with the subject line, testing, undo. And we're gonna click send. And you'll notice down here, I have an undo. We're gonna click undo real quick and there I've got it right back. So you have that grace period for 10 seconds. So feel free to click that undo button all you need. So I hope this video was helpful for you today. Just a real quick tip for today's video because I want to give you that grace period to sending out that perfect email that you have already written and you've gotten everything into. Now, keep in mind that when you send your emails, there will be a 10 second or however many seconds you set in your settings, there will be a delay there. So if it is really important that you get something out just super, super, super quick, just remember there is going to be that delay. But in the long run, I think it is going to save you some headache. I don't know how many times I've clicked that undo button, but it has saved me on loads of occasion. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help to support my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already and consider clicking that bell notification below to receive a notification of each time I post a video on here. Again, there are only five weeks left to enroll in the Microsoft 
365 case management system e-course. So there is a link in the description box below. Be sure to grab your seat. There is a loads of tutorials in there, step-by-step -step guides, and I'm here to guide you along the way um, during that whole process, including one-on-one -on -one consultations. So check it out if you haven't already. Of course, good luck to you and all that you do because this crazy legal industry needs an amazing paralegal boss just like you. Have a wonderful rest of your day, a weekend ahead of you, and I'll see you back here on the next one. Mwah. Bye guys.